shocking. Meghan's grotesque political dreams was strongly promoted by the Queen's rage. Meghan Markle's political dream has been turbocharged by two key steps this week, according to a commentator. Writing in the Daily Mail, commentator Dan Wooten recalled a conversation with an aide to the Sussexes in 2019 in which they predicted she would turn her ambitions to U.S. politics in the future. The GB News host pinpointed the two key steps which look to be part of her journey to achieving her ultimate goal of entering the White House. The first key step in question was Meghan's bombshell Vogue interview with feminist icon Gloria Steinem over the Supreme Court ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade, the constitutional right for abortions. Mr. Wooten noted, declaring she'll march on Washington, D.C. was just the first of many political interventions that will become far more regular as she attempts to develop a woke base within the Democratic Party. The second key step was the firm's decision not to publish the findings into a probe over alleged bullying by the Duchess of Sussex during her years as a working royal, claims she has repeatedly denied. He added, such a move will delight Prince Harry whose already bitter relationship with his relatives threatened to be ruined forever if any damaging details of the investigation by an independent law firm funded by the Queen had been revealed in yesterday's Sovereign Grant report. Meghan and Harry are no strangers to political activism and recently hired Miranda Barbot, a former aide to former President Barack Obama who was central to his successful re-election campaign in 2012. In 2020 they were accused of violating the terms of the Mexit deal after repeatedly urging Americans to vote in the presidential elections. Their words were widely seen as anti-Donald Trump, including by the president himself, as his supporters believed the couple were trying to mobilize postal voters, one of the key groups that swept Mr. Trump out of power and won the election for Joe Biden. Mr. Trump even promised to campaign for the White House in 2024 if Meghan was joining the race. Last month Meghan also chartered a private jet to travel the 1,400 miles to Texas where she laid a bouquet of white peace roses at a memorial to the 19 children and two teachers slain at Robb Elementary School but has not spoken about publicly about gun control. And she has recently lobbied senators on improving rights to parental leave. Meghan's political ambitions have long been talked about since she and Harry emigrated from Britain including claims that she would seriously consider running for president if her husband dropped his royal title. And two years ago a friend of the Duchess told Vanity Fair magazine that one of the reasons she did not give up her American citizenship when she married into the royal family was to allow her to keep open the option of entering politics. The rumors have clearly resonated in Washington, D.C., with the President Biden's sister, Valerie, 76, recently inviting the Duchess to join the Democratic Party and saying that she would of course make a good presidential candidate. If she made it to the White House, Meghan would be the first female U.S. president, succeeding where Hillary Clinton narrowly failed four years ago, and the second non-white occupant of the Oval Office after Barack Obama. She would also be following in the footsteps of President Ronald Reagan, who was a Hollywood actor for four decades before switching to politics. During the 2020 campaign, the Duchess addressed the When All Women Vote Couch Party, the organization co-founded by Michelle Obama to encourage participation in elections. Meghan's friends have previously encouraged speculation about her political ambitions, describing her eyes from modest beginnings as the embodiment of the American dream. In yesterday's interview with Meghan, Ms. Steinem declared the day after Friday's ruling that she would welcome women traveling to New York for an abortion into her own Manhattan home.